All right, folks, so we're going to compare the video tests. Now I'm using Resolve on both of these computers, so we're going to see what it does. All right. Let's hit play on both of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go. It's not doing it. Not doing it. All right. All right. My bad. So we gotta. I gotta do the play. You see how this one's kind of lagging already? Yeah. This one's kind of lagging already to playback. So, go ahead and check this one out. Let's go ahead and check this one out. See how this one's lagging? I mean, this one's playing back quick, but uh, smoother. All right, so that 1050 GPU on this thing, the GTX 1050 GPU on the XPS 15 is a way, way better graphics card than the one that's on the Inspiron 15 7559, which is this thing right, right over here. This thing is using a 960M, and this thing is using the 1050. The 1050 is just way better. It was like it was, it's playing 4K very smooth. So, yeah, definitely. The XPS 15 was a huge upgrade. It costed it costed me a little bit more money than this thing, of course, but it's worth it when you get better performance out of it. So there you go. I elected to go with the i okay. I elected to go with the i5 with the XPS 15 because well, I don't really feel the need of a i7. For me to do video editing with because it's not going to be much of a performance boost you get a 10 percent performance boost with an i7 but it's not much it's a kb lake processor so it's a little bit better in terms of the performance and stuff like that well anyways i'll be right back